Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're gonna make 15 Instant Pot and Slow Cooker Freezer Mills just for you guys. So as a busy mom, freezer meals literally save my life, especially mm -hmm. if I can prep them fast and keep them in my freezer and pull them out when I need them. When, you know, the day is crazy and you don't have time to cook. <laughs> You're thinking, shoot, what's for dinner? I, I don't know. know. <laughs> so having these on hand, ready to go at any moment, literally is a game changer. Yes. So these 15 meals, um, they ended up, the total for all the ingredients ended up being about $150, which comes out to be $10 a meal. Which is not bad for feeding no. anywhere from four to six people. Yep. So. Plus the prep is already done. We're gonna prep all 15 and you can do it too in about an hour. So if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. Woo. So we decided to make these freezer meals for you because our sweet friend Erica from Favorite Family Recipes has started something new. She's doing a freezer meal class. Now Camille first introduced me to <laughs> a freezer meal class and it was amazing. The world of freezer meals. <laughs> oh my gosh. Every mom's best friend. <laughs> Seriously. It was wonderful. The only bad thing was it costed about $200 for 10 meals. And as I went back and checked the prices of what things really cost, <laughs> it really only costed me about 105, maybe $106, but I paid $200 for it. And so I was a little frustrated, like, man, I, I can do this myself. But then my friend Erica contacted me. She's like, look, this is what I want to do. She's like, I want to help ladies make these freezer meals in just a short amount of time. And I want to make them with them so they can do it wearing their pajamas yep. in the comfort of their own home yep. and make them at a, a good price point that you can actually almost double your recipes for yeah. the cost. So if you want to check out Erica's live freezer meal class, go ahead and click the link down below. I'll put it there in the description for you. So if you guys are ready, we're going to first make our first Instant Pot recipe. Now we're going to make five different recipes three times. So we're going to make 15 recipes in about an hour. Yeah. So. And that's the way to do it. To do it in batches like this, you're going to save money. And obviously you're not going to eat them back to back, yeah. but just space them out over the couple of months. It's right. awesome. Because they, they last about three months in the freezer, yeah. which is perfect. And then if you can even double bag it, they'll last even a little longer. longer. <laughs> so, all right. Okay. Let's get started. So we've already prepped our bags. Yep. You so want to be sure to write on it what it is yes. and how long to cook it for. Because when it's frozen and you pull it out and it just is a big blob a of blob food, of nothing. You, you don't, don't know, know what it is. <laughs> so that's super important to write what it is and the cook time on there. Yes. So these are our Instant Pot Hawaiian meatballs. Now they cook about seven minutes in your Instant Pot or three to four hours in your slow cooker. Mm -hmm. Now, if you guys are proud of me, so many of you recommended these things for me for freezer meals. They're the and best. I finally broke down and bought some. Yeah. So I'll put a Such link a good Amazon in the pie. description. Yeah, for you. So if you're wondering what they are, just holds your bag it open does. so and that you can just load the stuff in there. You don't need two people to make it. You can just make <laughs> it yourself. All right. I do sometimes use just a, like a big plastic pitcher that I got at the dollar yeah, store. Yeah. And that works too. Hold it over. Mm -hmm. Whoop. All right. Let's add our meatballs. First thing is just meatballs. Any kind of meatballs will work. Yep. So these ones are 32 ounce. You can have like a 22, 24 ounce too. That will work perfectly with this mm -hmm. recipe. And you said that these meals feed four to six. Yes. This, this one, one I can even stretch to eight. Exactly. I was going to say this one makes a little bit more. It makes a lot. A lot of meatballs. Yep. Okay. Next, let's do our peppers. So we chopped up a red pepper. Just so a red pepper, pepper mm -hmm. in each one. Yep. Ooh. I love when you make your own freezer meals too, because you can load in as many vegetables as you want. And like exactly. the more and that I know that my kids like and will eat. Exactly. So. Or take out vegetables that your kids yes, eat. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. I also usually throw in a green pepper to these two. Oh, nice. Just for more pepper. Right now we're adding a 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks. Now we're adding in the liquid too, because you're gonna need that liquid if you're cooking it in the Instant Pot. I think it helps in the slow cooker too. I think so too. Yeah. I like this. a little the, more the, moist. The sweet from the pineapple is really Yes. Good. Okay. All right, so first thing going in, we're gonna do one cup of brown sugar. Just pack it in there. Into each one. All Into right. Into each one. Mm -hmm. And while she's doing brown sugar, I'm going to do the vinegar. It's about two thirds cup of white distilled vinegar in each one too. Now I know what you're thinking, vinegar, that sounds disgusting, but it actually makes it taste so good. Yep, it's just kind of the acidity with the sweetness, like it all comes together. Right. 
Sorry, I gave you the hard job. No, it's chocolate. Act brown sugar. Oh dear. Smell of vinegar always reminds me of Easter. Easter oh, eggs. I am shaky, I am shaky. There we go. <laughs> and then while she finishes up brown sugar, I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of soy sauce to each one too. All right. We got all the ingredients in. Yep. Now, now we just get to zip them up and then kind of stir around the flavors. That's what I do. Is that what you I do? I usually do too, just so they're kind of all incorporated. Now here's the thing, when you're making these freezer meals, you want the gallon size bags to be freezer bags. Otherwise, they're too thin and they will break open in your freezer. Oh. So oh. make sure you've got thick, thick freezer bags. All right. Trying to get that brown sugar in there. Yeah, <laughs> right? And I mean, yeah. you can, I mean, you don't have to do it too much. Right, just, I know, because the instant pot, it's all gonna cook together yeah, anyway, so. Yeah, exactly. We're good. So oh. you can see these bags are pretty chuck full. If you have just a little bit of freezer space, that's the great thing about these, is they're not gonna take up a ton. No. I would recommend laying them flat and stacking them up. However, if you've got the room, Freeze them kind of standing up because it's going to be so much easier to pop that in when um, it's frozen in that shape. Pop it into your instant pot. Instead pop. of like a square mm -hmm. that you're trying to shove in, which exactly. I do, do sometimes. <laughs> I know. And that works too. And you can thaw it in the microwave a little bit and you're going to be fine. Perfect. But yeah. Okay. Okay. We're there done we with go. these three. We're going to move on to the next recipe. Okay, so this next recipe is our three ingredient chicken tacos, and these are so versatile. You can put them, like, of course, on tacos. I like to put them on salad. Yeah. I like to mix them in just all kinds of stuff. Wrap like, it in a burrito. Right, make enchiladas. Nacho versus. topping. There we go. There's something for everybody. Okay. So, great thing about doing freeze meals, you can use frozen chicken. So, if you're grossed out by raw chicken, this is perfect. Yeah. So, we just bought a big, huge bag of, like, three pounds of chicken. So I'm just gonna divide it between the three. Um, so one pound of chicken will feed about four people. If you wanna make this a little bit more, I mean, there's gonna be plenty of seasonings. You can add more chicken as needed. Perfect. Now, before we get too far into it, you can make this in the Instant Pot and slow cooker. Oh, yeah. In the Instant Pot, if it's frozen, it'll cook about 25 minutes. If it's thawed, about 20 minutes. And then if you cook it in the slow cooker, I like to cook it for about six to eight hours. Yeah, on low. On low, <laughs> not high, you have. on low. So we're gonna put a can of salsa into each bag. So this I, is just a 16 ounce can. Yep, and I love Herdez. Do you like Herdez? Herdez. Herdez? Herdez. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> but it's my favorite. I do too, and it's actually a really good price in the store. Exactly. That's not sponsored. That's just That's why life. I tried it at first. because I have also made expensive. this before with homemade salsa. Oh. It was amazing. That you can also, good. if you want to, um, do a homemade taco seasoning. Because oh, yeah. the next thing we're throwing in is just a packet of taco seasoning. It's so easy to make a homemade version. Yeah. Um, but if you're short on time, just throw in a packet. And a lot of these ingredients, I just got like the cheapest price of most of the items sure. so it could kind of stay within my budget. So yeah. these are just the Kroger brand taco seasoning. We saved about a dollar because it's Kroger, so. Yep. Okay, All right. and that's, that's it. it. And so, when you serve these, um, we just usually do them on like hard taco shells yeah. with cheese. Super simple with kids, they don't need a lot more. But like we talked about, this chicken's so versatile. Exactly. You can use it for whatever you need. If you're cooking these in your Instant Pot, you might want to add about a half a cup of water just to give it just a little bit more liquid in it. But if you're cooking in a slow cooker, you don't need to add anything else. Yeah, you're good. All right, grab this one off. I love these little things. I know. They're I love them. so make it so easy. Yep. All right, another one down. Okay. All right, the next recipe that we're making are country style ribs. And these are boneless ribs. You can get them just over in your butcher area. Um, they usually say country style right say, on them. That's how I know yeah. it. Oh, okay, these are country so style. So they're boneless, they're um, not very fatty, no. and that's why I like them. They're also usually really inexpensive. So if this is a cut of meat you haven't used before, I highly recommend it. And this recipe is so easy. So our mom used to make this recipe for Sunday dinners, I swear mm -hmm. like once a month. It was like the go-to Sunday dinner. And yes. all of us just love it. So. You guys gotta try These it. just fall apart after they cook. Um, yes. If you can't find them, 
at your grocery store. I've also made this with pork chops. Oh, that's And a it's good worked idea. just as well. So. All right, while well, she's adding meat, I'm gonna add one onion that we've already chopped and gotten ready. So we'll just dump it right in. I'll switch, yeah. Okay. Put in our onions. It does make it go by a lot faster if there's two people yes. prepping the Instant Pot. This is a fun thing to do with girlfriends right. or even get your kids involved and say, okay, your job is to add the onion, your job's to pour in the sauce. That's a great idea. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna add a whole container of barbecue sauce. We're just gonna dump the whole thing in. And you can use your favorite kind, whatever. Yes. Again, whatever I went for got. whatever was like the least expensive, but actually Kroger or Smith's or whatever your Kroger is by you, they make really good sauces. Yes, yeah, they have really good so sauces. I was, I was impressed with the flavor. Yep. There's also, you can usually find really good sales. Our favorite is Sweet Baby Ray's. Yes, that's, that's one of my favorites. usually my go-to. Stubbs makes a really good one. Yes. All right, while you're finishing that up, we're gonna stick about a half cup of brown sugar in each one. If you want to cut back on sugar, I feel like this is one, this is one you, you could, could do. Yeah. A quarter cup and of brown sugar. It's mm -hmm. still delicious. Okay, so here is the secret ingredient to this. So this is called liquid smoke. You can find it by um, the barbecue sauces. Yep, yep. It's usually only like a dollar or two, but it's a game changer it in is. this recipe. It just adds this deep smoky taste, which yes. usually you don't get in an instant exactly. pot. Exactly. From a smoker. So I'm thinking we've got two tablespoons, two tablespoons of that mm -hmm. of this in each one. This is strong, so if you don't want it too smoky, you could cut it in half, but exactly. And you can find liquid smoke smoking. at every grocery store, like yep. Walmart, Kroger. I've seen it everywhere. It's on Amazon. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So if you're gonna make this recipe, invest in some liquid smoke. Yes. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Do we get it. the rest of the barbecue sauce? We're yep. all good. Okay. Good to go. Close it up. Exactly. Oop. Now this one will feed, I feel like it feeds closer to four people. Um, yeah, so just, just depends if you on have, your ribs. Yeah, if you have more people in your family, just make sure you have a few more sides and you'll be good. Here we go. Yep, or if you want to throw in some extra ribs, you can do that too. Yeah, sometimes we get complaints that, oh, you used all canned ingredients, it's not all healthy. Mm -hmm. Like this is just the main dish. So with your side dishes, you yeah. can make those all super healthy too. Yep, so. we always serve dinner with a oh, vegetable sorry. and a fruit. So Let's do. just Let's do. make your sides be healthy and you're good. Yep, you're good to go. You could also do a homemade barbecue sauce if you are that domestic. Yep, some people are. Which some is people are. And awesome. there's simple recipes out there. So look those exactly. up. Okay, okay, next one done. All right, so the next recipe we're making is Philly cheesesteaks. Now, I love Philly cheesesteaks. I do too. A good <laughs> sandwich. Exactly. So this is super simple. If you cook it in your Instant Pot, it will only cook for about eight minutes or so if you use thin meat. If you use a little bit thicker, you might have to go up a little more yeah. to like 15, 20. Yeah. But I, I mean, Philly cheesesteaks, it's usually thin cut meat, so it only takes about eight minutes. And then if you cook it in your slow cooker, I would say probably about three to four hours on low. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. This. Okay, so these are bags that I got at Walmart. And now you can buy all kinds of different like beef fajitas. Yeah, just any type of thin sliced meat will work for this exactly. recipe. Exactly. So if you didn't want to get some that are like pre-packaged pre like this, you mm -hmm. could get it from the butcher just by a beef roast. Right, you can even ask him. Slice it yeah, up. they'd slice it up for you, mm -hmm. so. But we're just gonna yeah. use this, so. Okay, we have about, what, 15 ounces in each one? Yep. So. So we'll split these bags. Yep. Just, and we're really good at eyeballing, right? Yeah, <laughs> totally. And that's all you need to do for these recipes. Exactly. Cool. Okay, now an onion, one whole onion in each one. So you can have like bigger pieces of onion, mm -hmm. but I kind of like them smaller in the Instant Pot. Yeah, so. it's totally your preference. And then one green bell pepper, yep. and you can slice it however you want. I like to keep my bell peppers big when I'm cooking in an Instant Pot or slow cooker because mm -hmm. they do shrink Down. and they get really soft if they're too small. So I usually chop them pretty big. Smart. All right, next thing is just one package of Italian zesty seasoning. It doesn't have to be zesty. It can be just dry Italian. Yep. 
Um, again, I went the cheaper route, so we tried yeah. Kroger brand, and it awesome. smells and tastes delicious. So. I've seen too, you can make this from scratch as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, so just Google a recipe, homemade Italian dressing mix. Nice. It'll pull something up, and it's probably seasonings you have on hand. Yeah. But for convenience sake, this is a great option. Exactly. And then just about uh, anywhere from a half a cup to a cup of some beef broth. We'll probably just do a cup in each one. Okay. And just kind of guess our way through. I'll do this one, then I'll let you do the last okay. one. Okay, sounds good. And then to serve these. Oh, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so I love bread. I love sourdough bread. So I like to Ooh. get some sourdough bread and then cut them open, put some provolone or other cheese on top, and then put them in the broiler for a few minutes. Then I'll put these on top of it so my bread is all nice and crispy. It's awesome. And then, of course, if you want your special Philly cheesesteak. Super steak. authentic. Cheese. Philly cheesesteak, you gotta spread the cheese whiz on top. For those of us who don't like cheese whiz, yeah. you don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> it's okay. It is. I Every like, once in a while. I just like the crusty bread part I do of too. it. So. Oh my gosh, yes. These also smell so good they while do. they're cooking. Oh my gosh, right? Yep. My husband comes home and he's like, oh, I know what's for dinner. <laughs> That's the best. Exactly. Okay, next one down. All right, we have one more recipe to make, so get ready. So the last recipe we're making today is our delicious pork chili verde. You can use this for whatever you want. It's kind of like the chicken yeah. tacos we made earlier. You can put it on, we just put it in burrito or like a tortilla, wrap it up. Yeah, um, yeah. So tacos, burritos, nachos, salads, whatever you want. Exactly, I love to make little, I love street tacos. So make yeah. little street tacos, put a little salsa on top yeah. and you're good. Or so. just eat it as is. It's, it's perfect true. like this too. It's true. So before we get started on everything, I'll tell you how to cook. Cook it, cooking times. Yeah. So we put the whole pork roast in there. Now, if you wanted to cook for less time, you could chop up the pork roast into like three sections. If you did that, it would only cook for about 30 minutes. But because we put in the whole pork roast, because they were frozen, yep. we're gonna cook it anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes, just to make sure that it's cooked all the way through and to make it soft so it will just shred apart. Yeah. Now, if you're cooking this in your slow cooker, I highly suggest anywhere from like six to even 10 hours in your slow cooker. Yep. So low and slow. Low and is slow. the best for this one. I love using pork roast, like a lean pork roast. It is so inexpensive. It's, true. it's so good for you. It's a great cut of meat. It tastes like chicken to my kids, so they eat it. <laughs> so, so many pros going on. Awesome. Okay, so we already put yep. the roast in, obviously. Yes. But so the you, roast is ready to go. Do you want to tell them yeah. what this is? So okay. the one ingredient that's a little bit different than all the rest, and maybe some of you are not familiar with it, is that these are tomatillos. It basically is like a green tomato that's wrapped in leaves. So when you see it at the store and it's got its leaves all wrapped around it, that's the right thing. Yep, you're good. So all that you're going to do is just kind of peel back these leaves and pull them off, and then just roughly chop um, the tomatillo. So I just did it into quarters. Um, it looks a little different than tomato, but um, it adds really good flavor. Really good flavor. Yep, so yep. that's what that ingredient is. And what's funny is the leaves are kind of sticky. Oh, really? So that leaves kind of makes your fingers sticky a little bit. <sighs> but yeah, two of those go in each bag. Perfect. All right, then we chopped up an onion. So yep, one onion. One whole onion. Mm -hmm. For each one. Perfect. Okay. And then one whole green pepper, and yep. I chopped them up into pretty small pieces. Yeah. So, obviously, we're making chili verde. You want to make sure you're using <laughs> salsa verde, verde salsa. which basically is green salsa. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and it's my favorite. I love it, too. All right, you want to pour that one in? Yep. Okay, while you do that, we're also going to add some more green chili, so just a small can yep. of your green chilies. And we're just leaving all the liquid in these, because yes. we like liquid, especially if you're using the instant, instant pot. pot. Okay, all right, last thing. Well, almost. Almost. Can Diced tomatoes. tomatoes. Yep. Keep the liquid in there, exactly. don't drain it. Now usually I don't go name brand when I'm trying to go discount, but these were actually cheaper than the other brands. There you so go. we got some name brand today. Okay, yeah. how much cumin? So there's one teaspoon of cumin, you just dump it. A lot of these recipes, you can add more salt and pepper. Sometimes I like to add it after it's cooked, yeah. just to see how the flavor's see doing. See what seasoning you still exactly. need. Exactly. You bet. All right, zip these up. 
as we finish up here, we want to know what's your favorite Instant Pot freezer meal? Mm -hmm. It's your go-to recipe that you can prep quickly and get it on the table fast. Right, and if you need more Instant Pot freezer meals, be sure to check out our favorite Instant Pot freezer meals right there. And we will see you guys next Monday. Bye. See you later.